Hey, best friends. Welcome to the third episode of The Teacher's Lounge. I am Bree, Honest Teacher Vibes. I'm Rebecca Rogers, or Miss Rogers. I'm Miss Southern. You didn't do your dung, and I'm disappointed. <sighs> dung sounds like poop. Do it. Do, do it. it. Ow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep your freaking hands to yourself. That's what I had to tell one of my students the other day. She teaches high school. They don't Who? keep their hands to themselves. I teach oh, yeah, middle school. They don't keep their hands to themselves either. Dung. <laughs> Class has started. <laughs> okay, I just want to talk about Miss Southern asking, do our teeth ever itch? You know. Mine, me neither. I was just asking. <laughs> you ain't got a lot of kick it, Miss Southern. <laughs> Apparently I do. How would your teeth itch? How, how would your teeth like, itch, though? Uh, not you doing the teeth thing. <laughs> People have just stopped watching. <laughs> Guys, don't stop watching us. We're weird, but that's fine. Actually, just Miss Southern is weird. <laughs> no. Me and Miss Rogers aren't. I know. I think I people know. don't expect me to be weird, and I'm real weird. <laughs> I like that, though. What do people expect? They think I'm mean. Do they? Yeah. You? Well, no, no, no. On TikTok... I think I have <coughs> finally gotten people to see, like, who I actually am. I like, like the way she says TikTok. Do t- it again. Because I enunciate. Do it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> do it for the mind. <laughs> <laughs> ain't going to do it. Um, But I have heard that I look mean. Whatever that means. You can't help You thought I was going to be mean. Okay. You ain't got to put my business out there like that. <laughs> but I did. We had, there was, like, multiple teachers. Oh, that my gosh. Was, like. I don't know about them. They seem like snobs. I'm like, I didn't no. even say. Why you got? <laughs> you really putting her on blast? <laughs> it sound like I'm just judgy. Well, no. Like I feel like there's it's a pre- my own insecurity. Okay. There's an idea that people have that when people gain a following, that they're just oh, they must be full. Nobody of thinks like, no. I mean. <laughs> We know. Everybody's like, hey, best friend. I'm like, hey, best friend. <laughs> I know. No, I. that's like the biggest insult to me is when people are like, mm, you changed with the fame. And I'm like, what, what fame? fame? I feel the same exact. <laughs> I love your explanation. I, when when people say that to you, I love your explanation. Because it's so stupid. I'm like, I, I knew I was the shit before this. Okay. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Miss Southern's like, just because you have followers on the internet doesn't mean no. you have fame. Like, no. you're not like, famous. No I, one ever recognizes me or Miss Southern anywhere. It's you. You get recognized everywhere, but, like, we don't. Yeah. I guess it's because I don't look mean. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all probably get recognized, but people are scared to come say hey. Probably. Like, <laughs> I've been told by so many of my students that I have RBF. And like I'm just like that's just my face. Like I'm, I'm like, sorry that I look this way. I fix my face. So I have to smile all the time, or people think I mean. Like what's wrong with her? Why is she always smiling? I also think that people think that when you set boundaries, it makes you mean. And, and as doesn't. a teacher, boundaries are the boundaries. most important yes. thing. Yeah. Like yes, with parents, with students, with anyone, with really. your work life in general, like yes. not working like, until eight. I mm. made a video about like, it was just a story time video that someone sent to me about how like the parent was upset that she was not responding to emails at eight o'clock at night. And she's like, I'm sorry, I don't check my right. email at school. And everyone in the comments were like, well, that's what you signed up. For. No, that's not, not what you just signed up for. Right. You sign a contract. Like my contract says that I work from 655 to right. 230. That's what I signed up for. Yeah. Like, and well, if you give homework, first of all, there's so many subjects, at least in high school, like math and science, where the school board has assigned, hey, you're going to give these kids these packets. That's not a teacher choice. Right. And no. teachers are not going to go ahead and add extra hours to their work day right. because the school board de- right. cuz the school board decided that they need data for whatever reason. That like that's they not- don't ever do nothing no. with. No, that they <laughs> no. do literally nothing with. They just take data for the data. And I had so many people in my comments saying, "Oh, well, you don't love your kids, you're lazy, blah 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 cuz I don't want to check my email at 8 o'clock at night. The audacity what? of people to even say that. Yeah. They're like, you don't check your work email, baby. When you leave and squall out the parking lot on two wheels, you don't check anything for work when you get home. And they're just like, how hard is it to check an email? That's not the point. Like, yeah, it's the principle no. of the matter. I'm not checking emails at teaching, 8 o'clock at night. Teaching is the most interesting profession because it's the most, I feel like people, how do I put this? That's not going to offend people. They just <laughs> criticize everything I we know. do. No, it's not that. It's that we are so underserved that if we have something nice, people are like, 
How Why do you, they have How'd that? you get that? Yeah. Right. For example, I saved and I bought my dream car last year right. before TikTok. So don't tell me it was TikTok fame. Right, it was before. before that. And whenever people are like, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I'm a teacher. And they're like, how much are they paying teachers? And I'm like, <laughs> excuse you. Right. Like, okay. No one says that now that I work in ed tech. Right. No one. That's so annoying. But teachers are but like. Te- it's like, when did we decide that we were just going to be poor if we decided okay. to work with kids? Right. And I just don't understand why people don't consider that an important job. Like, we're in charge of your children. Yeah. yeah. The most important things in your life. Your Not child. Not all of them. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's that's true. But I, just, I don't understand why people don't see, oh, they're literally keeping my kids safe. They're educating them. They're working with my kid. And it's literally getting the future of this country ready right. to take on the world. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm sorry. I know everyone's like, private school. But the majority of people right. in our nation come school. from public yeah. school. No right. matter how much you want to argue against it, right. you're not correct. Well, you know what? It goes back to that whole thing that when you put people in categories, you dehumanize them. So yeah. the people... It's like they, some people don't see teachers as real people. They just see them like, oh, they're in the category of a yeah. teacher. So they dehumanize them, which, which makes it easier for you to talk trash about somebody and say hateful things about them, which is why when we post pictures of us in swimsuits, now your girl ain't about to be up in no two-piece because I'm thicker than the snickles. <laughs> but I'm saying the people who wear two-pieces or whatever, people are like, oh, my God, you're a teacher. What if your students see that? Girl, you went you went to the beach with a two piece on, and you got a little thigh meat hanging out. Ain't nobody say nothing, okay? <laughs> yeah. So just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean I'm a nun. I can wear a swimsuit if I want to. What I think is really interesting, and I've even had family members say this, is how do you get away with having a TikTok? What do you mean? How do I get right, away? Right, with right, 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 right. Like I, right. well, don't you get? In tr- who's gonna get in trouble? I'm right. literally taking stories from other right. people around the world. It's not right, my kids. Right, right. It's not their yeah. parents. Right. So I don't, well, you're a teacher. Okay. Does the school fund my, but see, here's, here's my question too, though, is some of these teachers that are being told they can't make TikToks, even if they don't make them in their classroom, they're being told you can't have a TikTok account, which is that, which is, but, but it would be the equivalent of them trying to tell them they can't have Facebook or Instagram. And no, some do. Some Some do. do. They can tell their teachers they can't have Facebook or Instagram. They try. (laughs) Some try. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what Absolutely I think is not. really interesting is um, Absolutely the not. schools that then try to prohibit, well, you can't have this or you can't record in your classroom or you can't do whatever. But then, okay, well, those teachers can take photos and post them on Instagram at right. school. Well, I these mean, school I can understand. Can I can understand not being able to film in the classroom because the perspective that was given to me was that if the school ever gets audited or, you know, once you start making money, off of your social media that it can be seen as you're making money off of the school because you're using their facility. Now that won't, that doesn't matter for someone. You know what my argument is to that? (laughs) What is it? I stay after work until 6 PM. I come to work early. I'm going to (laughs) film when I want. They don't care. No, I know, but I'm just saying like, you don't know what time I'm filming. Right, right, right. I'm not filming in contract hours, but you know, a lot of school districts are scared of the parents. So if they say anything, yeah, it's like, yeah, Ugh, you know, but How I mean, sad is that, it's though? really sad. How sad is it's that? really sad. But you know what? I think that what we do on I, what I think TikTok has done for teachers, it, it has, has it has shown people in the regular world what we deal with as educators, yes. Yes. because I have never seen like Instagram. A lot of teachers were popular on Instagram before TikTok, but it was for photos. Yes. It wasn't yes. for videos. Now, with all the skits that they're on TikTok. People see the things that teachers have to deal with. And I think that some people, it does make them more uh, more critical of teachers. But some people, I feel like it makes them like, dang, I didn't know y'all had to deal with that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. You yes. know, but, but it also <clears throat> creates this idea of teachers. You deal with all this crap and you're not alone. Like right. everyone right, does right, this. Right, right, right. And I think that creates like this feeling of relief of, okay, I'm not crazy right. because that happened. Cause I'm me. not the okay. only person that got an attitude at staff meeting cause I'm hungry <laughs> and we had to have this impromptu staff meeting because Susan won't go to her dang duty post. So now we got to have an impromptu staff meeting to tell Susan to go to her dang duty post. And we all got to add to cause I'm hungry. And then Mary keeps raising her hand Man, to, look to ask all the Put your damn hand down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's the questions that don't even make sense. It's like, that oh, I got this, nothing to do it, with nothing. They always no. preface with, 
this might be a question that I should ask after, but, and then it's like, okay, then just ask after. Right. Then just just yeah. shut up, please, please and, God. You know what? One of the principal, when I made a video, the last video I made, making fun of that one more question teacher, a principal commented and said, honestly, we can't stand the one more question <laughs> teacher either. But it's one of those things where it's like, if you genuinely have questions, most of the time, the question you're asking, you can wait till after and ask that question. Yes. Nobody nobody wants you to raise your hand and ask a freaking question at 2 50 or 3 20 in the afternoon when we're already supposed to be going home ask your question after everybody gone and or you can send it in an email and some worst, people can't read the room and they the worst can. part is you when they what? ask a question and some then ask can't. a follow-up question oh my gosh <laughs> i'm like are you freaking serious <laughs> Why are oh you asking another question, fam? My favorite yeah. is when you go to like the back to school meeting where you get to see everyone for the first right. time of That's the school always year. Fun. And then like every year it's the same. You have to do like the HR meetings, mm-hmm. the right, quizzes, right, right. like so you're not gonna sexually harass people right. or abuse people or Don't spray your kids with pesticides. You know those? Don't <laughs> spray yeah. kids with pesticides. <laughs> you know, if someone had to have done it for to become yes, a mandatory it's a thing. meeting, like, okay. somebody, you have if it's to, a rule, that means somebody did it. Yes. And so then it's always the one teacher who has been there for like twenty years that's like, Do we have to do this? And I'm like, mm. No, we do. Okay. Stop the asking. Same, <laughs> the same safe schools trainers every single every year. year. The same yep. four. Like, here they go with this issue again. <laughs> you know what, though? Uh, somebody sent me a story one time and said they had to do, um, like, CPR training or whatever. But, like, the portion of the CPR training that they had to uh, practice is administering an EpiPen. Yeah. We have to do that. Yeah, so we had to do that. So if you if you if you're not familiar with epipens, uh, therefore if somebody's going into anaphylactic shock or they're uh, having an allergic reaction to something, and it's just this like needle that you jab into their thigh and then you, like you push it down when you jab it in or Isn't whatever. It like blue to the sky, red to the thigh. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, big dog. No, I don't that's know what that they part. did. That's <laughs> how I you didn't pay it. A, I didn't pay attention because I was hungry and I was ready to go. But that's but, how you make sure you don't stick yourself because it's blue to the sky, red I to I the would, thigh. I guess I would have stuck myself there. <laughs> but this teacher, uh, the principal, accidentally handed out real <gasps> epipens. Instead of the pretend EpiPen. So they had like five oh. teachers get stabbed oh. with real EpiPen. Oh, I would have died. Oh, my gosh. Like, seriously, oh. I'm like, I'm happy nobody was allergic to whatever's yeah. in oh EpiPen. Can y'all, God. I'm telling you as teachers, we cannot even make up the stuff that we deal with. You know what's funny? If that happened in corporate, they would sue. They would yes. sue. And you know not a one of those teachers was able to do no, anything. Absolutely not. <laughs> and those needles are big. And they yeah. hurt, and man. And they hurt. Because oh, most of the time, wow. if you have to get stabbed with an EpiPen, you're you're not really, you know, aware of what's going on or whatever. And so it's like the shock and your adrenaline makes you not notice the can you imagine how I would have yelled so loud if that would have happened to me? Oh my god. I gosh. don't know what I would have done. I, I can't even would. imagine. I bet that principal was mortified. For sure. County but, office okay, was like, why did it take five of them to realize something was wrong? I guess they jammed them at the same time or something. Oh, oh, oh. So that they were like, right? okay, everybody got your EpiPens ready. <gasps> Ooh, gives me the oh, EBGBs. No. And uh, I don't do ooh. needles. And just thinking of, oh, no. I don't do needles. When I went not. to the dentist the other day, she pulled out this thing that looked like a needle. I said, uh-uh, hold on. What is that? <laughs> she said, it's not a needle. I'm just putting it's mouthwash just... in between your. <laughs> I was I was still looking at her like, let me tell you something. If they touch my teeth and they feel like a needle, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> I don't even fight. And I don't want to hit you. But She's... if I have a reflex, if you stick that needle in my gums. But she was like, ma'am, it's. It's, it's literally my fault. <laughs> so dramatic. I was a little nervous. I was like, mm, okay, well, I guess I got to trust a stranger. Yikes. Oh Talk about gosh. being dramatic. The copy machine. Oh Dude, I fucking hate the gosh. copy machine, bro. I mean, you got to have a whole engineering degree to fix the daggum copy machine. I tried to fix it one time and I broke it worse. And my <gasps> secretary was like, do not Don't touch, touch it. it. Don't touch it. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. So do you guys make your own copies at your school? Yes. Yeah. Is that, oh, so our school... I like you school. got somebody to make your copies so for we, you? we have a copy lady like she's amazing and then we have she other... makes all y'all's copies for the whole school yeah what the... and you turn it you turn it in at least 48 hours in advance oh see you, i'm not organized enough have, for that you have these little <laughs> slips of paper that you fill out and it's like you so have to... she just be standing in front of the copy machine for hours and hours at a time yeah no like that's her so we have a whole room it's a copy room at least it's warm in there yeah 
for and the love you of, fill out the it's antarctica skin. in here just you know what y'all both skinny and the cameraman over there looking like a bodybuilder <laughs> and i'm thicker than the snickers and i be hot <laughs> Okay, so, so, so y'all better so bring. Pretty. I gotta tell y'all, Hi. like I tell my students, you better bring a sweater because it's gonna be frigid <laughs> up in here. I'm wearing a blanket. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're like guacamole, always extra. That's you're like not my wrong. Fa- that's my favorite joke. It's yeah. I like that. Joke. <laughs> oh, do you guys want to hear the best joke that one of my students told me? Yes, yes I'm ready. Actually, you guys probably already heard it. Okay, but tell it again because okay. we like your voice. Stop. <laughs> That's the first thing that Brie said to me when she saw me. She goes, oh, you sound just like on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I like your voice. Like, what did you think I was going to sound like? I hate you just have this, um, People think that we're just completely different in person than we are on camera. Nope, we're the we're same. We're exactly the same. Dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm probably going to weird Kinsey out because nope. I'm just loud and obnoxious. I, <laughs> same. I told her, I was like, you'll never get kidnapped because you're too loud. <laughs> <laughs> that was what you said last night. I was like, you know what, Kinsey? We just met. you going to insult me like that. You, know, no. you can kick rocks. But the, you're right, though. The past 24 hours has been a just montage of, ooh, we're going to talk about that on the podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, let's yeah. talk about that Every on the podcast. Five our poor Uber on. driver, we asked him in the middle of our conversation, we go, hey, we're here to do a podcast. Do you think it's going to do well? He goes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He'd say it like that. Oh, yeah. Like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I want to hear your joke. <laughs> okay. What advice did the Italian man give? You made a TikTok about this, but I didn't watch the end. <laughs> This bitch. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What was my what? phone started ringing? What? <laughs> <laughs> it was a bill collector. I ain't got your money. Hey, she didn't answer the phone. <laughs> I don't answer them bill collector calls, baby. I ain't got your money. Okay, what advice does an Italian man give? Did the Italian man give? Eat I'm trying to remember. Actually, I pasta. think I did watch the end of your video. Eat I just pasta. don't remember what it was. It can only get better. I did see that. That's really cute. Brie doesn't get it. I don't get it. A cannoli. Do you know what a cannoli is? All right, we're going to go get cannolis after this. I eat Popeyes. It's a dessert. I eat chicken. It's a dessert. I eat chicken. Do you like sweets? Yes. Do you like whipped ricotta cheese? What the hell is this? It's like cream. (laughs) No. What? We're going to get cannoli. She doesn't know. Do you like cream cheese? No. What? (gasps) Do you like icing? Yeah. Okay, we're going. To yeah, this. we're gonna play a game called "What Does Brie Like." <laughs> <laughs> well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we're some fools together. <laughs> I love it though. I like know. seriously, you love it. y'all are my people. I'm here for it. It's think- weird that social media brought us together. I know. Yeah. Actually, it's Rebecca would. Rogers that brought us together. That's true. That's this girl, yeah, literally. <laughs> if you tell Becca somebody you want to meet, she's like, here. Hold my Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, so when it, when you're growing on social media, like you need a group of yeah, people that yeah. just get it. And yeah. I'm telling you, like when I started and I just kind of sat and watched a group of individuals saying like, are they crazy? Nah. Well, I just kind of yeah. ended up introducing them all and putting them in a group chat. It's awesome. And one day Brie goes, you know who I really want to be yeah. friends with? <laughs> she goes, I really want to be friends with Tal Williams. You know, Mr. Williams pre-K. And I was like, all right, within 24 hours, he was in our group chat. I love and now him. he's like one of our best oh, friends. Oh, I love him. I know. He's my person. It, when he gets stressed out, he'd be like, um, pre-K pause. I'm like, I, love him. I did that in my, in my class one day. My middle schoolers were like, what is pre-K pause? <laughs> I'm like, you know what, you uncultured swine that don't know <laughs> who don't Mr. Know. Williams pre K is. Did do your students now this year know that you're TikTok yes. famous? And Every are they single so one of them like, excited? Are you that teacher from TikTok? I mean, they have like the crazy eyes in the hallway and they're like, Are you that teacher from TikTok? <laughs> I had a I had a, a literacy consultant in my class the other day. Uh-huh. And y'all know when somebody comes in to uh, well, she wasn't really there to observe me, but you know how you feel when the when the education consultants come in. Yeah. Like they're trying to figure out what you're doing wrong so they can so this lady was like boring a hole into my head while uh I was talking and I was like, I'm always nervous and forget how to talk when someone else is in the room. And so I was teaching a theme and central idea. And I was like, oh. the way she was looking at me, I was like, she probably thinks I'm not teaching this right. So I'm like all up in my head. <laughs> so after I get done, I'm like, all right, y'all go ahead and start working on your assignments. And I walk over there to her and she goes, hey. And I said, hey. She said, are you by chance that teacher from TikTok? I'm like, lady, 
I thought you were looking at me because you're going to tell my principal that I don't know how to teach. And you over here. She was, she was absolutely precious, though. I Aww. loved her. She goes, she goes, my daughter loves you. and She's a teacher. She would die if we got a picture. I was like, Aww. best friend, let's take a picture then, best friend. Aww. She was like, okay, that was awesome. Um, my daughter would absolutely die if I got a video of you saying hi to her. I was like, best friend, let's, let's do a do video. Oh, so I have no chill. I love it. I love my people. I have good people. It makes me sweat. <laughs> Why? Well, I Because I am such a like introvert. So when people you like are an introvert, yeah, yeah I'm very much so like I'm fine being by myself, you hanging out, cool. Yeah. And so when people come up to me and like uh, when I was at the NFL draft, yeah, like because I had made it so known that I was going to be there, that's mm. the only time I really have ever gotten recognized. Right. And they would be like, "Oh my god, are you the TikTok teacher?" And I would be like, "No." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe. I got a twin. That's my twin. I know. I can do that. Y'all can't because I actually have a twin. We had an orientation the other day, and I had a few kids come in. And there were, like, a lot of kids who just kept looking in my room, and they looked afraid to come in. And I was like, no, come back, please. <laughs> come no back. one ever recognizes me. But I had a few come in, and they're just like, I watch your TikToks. And they just sit and look at me, and I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. what, right. what questions can I answer about world history or the school or coming back to high school? Like, no. you must be so excited. TikTok. And they, they literally just <laughs> – well, no, they don't say anything. They just sit and look. And I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> my middle schoolers are very territorial. Like, yeah. my kids, if they see another student from another class trying to talk to me, they run up, they'd be like, don't talk to my teacher. Don't talk to my <laughs> teacher. I'm like, if you don't get out the way. I got, like, random kids that be like, hey, Miss Richardson. I'm like, hey, bud, what, do I know you? <laughs> nah, nah. And then they walk past with, like, the crazy eyes. Yeah. At our um, sneak peek for sixth grade when we met, like, all of our students, a lot of the parents and the kids were like, are you that teacher from TikTok? Oh, my gosh. I could see some of them on their phones pointing, like, Mom, that's that teacher from TikTok. Yeah. That's that teacher from TikTok. <laughs> it's like I'll never get used to people recognizing me out in public. That's it is, really like, cute. the weirdest thing. That's it's so exciting, cute. though. It's very like, fun. It's very fun. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't had, think I'll ever get used to it. I like so. I, I we haven't started school yet, and I'm actually really nervous. Like we start. Um, I know this is gonna air like, in a few weeks, but where <laughs> when we were filming it, I don't start school until Monday. But last semester, because I already started, I had started my TikTok before second semester started. Yeah, and I actually had like started out with behavior issues because the kids saw me more as a figure instead of a teacher because, because we were all TikTok. virtual yeah. yeah and we were all virtual mm. so the first day i had a couple of kids that kept trying to call me rebecca and i was like <gasps> block <laughs> like can't see nope, i said nope, you nope. have one like do not call me that okay. i'm still your teacher like you cannot just i'm not your friend like i want to be friendly like i love you guys my kids but don't play with me like that no yeah I'm, but your your students are who brought us together my you, oh, yeah, yeah. They were all in my comments. They were like, "Do you know who Mrs. Rogers is? You guys would be great friends. Do you know her? Do you know her?" Yes. And I was like, "I have no idea." So who my is two, this person? My two yeah. semesters were very different. So I started my TikTok in the middle of first semester, and those kids just really—they still show up in my lives. They show up in yeah. all my comments. Like you have a I, lot of kids that get, that are in your lives. Yes, all the time, and I love them. I like I'm my social media is for them, just mm -hmm. to make them smile. And so they saw me, they started out seeing me as a teacher, and then I kind of grew with them. Mm -hmm. And then after the first few days of second semester, it mm -hmm. was perfect. I just needed to really, nope, I'm still your teacher yeah. <laughs> for the first few yeah. days. Yeah. No, you cannot call yeah. me Rebecca. Well, this is like uncharted territory for yeah. a lot of yeah. us. Because yes. when we were in school, can you think of when we were in school if our teachers would have been fa yes. social media yeah. famous? Yes. It would have been very, like, we, we found a picture of my English teacher in, like, a bikini on the beach, and we were like, ooh, scandalous. <laughs> and now I'm like, no, that's allowed. Right, like, that's normal. And her, her name was, like, California Cutie or something like that. <laughs> I was like, we, we all talked about it, like, for six months. That's it was, so like, the funny. talk of the school, like, did you see Miss Brannick's picture of her at the beach? She didn't even have no clothes on that little, <laughs> that little floozy. And it's like we when we grew up, that that teacher actually was my twin sister's wedding planner. 
And it was like oh when we became adults, it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we were like okay, that really wasn't as big of a deal as we tried no. to make I it I think it's be. important now because social media is such a big yeah. thing for kids to see that we're real people because right. yes. you can portray such a mm-hmm. fake. I know. Yeah. Okay. This is some tea. Are you Ooh, ready? ready? I like I'm some ready. tea. I know an influencer. Mm-hmm. Who basically claims that she's a travel influencer, but she films everything in her backyard. <gasps> what? What? Yes. In her backyard. Look at your Apple Watch, like, breathe. I you know. Stressed out when you say that. <laughs> yeah. She yeah, has this whole, out. she's actually married with kids, but she is like a single. That's her backyard. Travel. Look. It's beautiful. So it looks like she's traveling? Yeah. Oh my God. But I'm just you saying. You filthy liar. I, I, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so interesting how on social media you can portray this life yeah. that doesn't actually exist. Right. So I think it's awesome that teachers are becoming TikTok famous right. because it gives kids someone real to look up yes. to. You I know? think that's so interesting because there are a lot yeah. of just regular influencers who go and get those houses and blah, blah, blah. And they try to portray their life as so luxurious mm. even if it might not be yeah. as much but then teachers are just to like please just see me as a person yeah <laughs> please my, just see me as a regular human my net worth online when you google it it's like it's worth she's worth a lot now because of tiktok fame and i'm no. like where <laughs> Man, for real though lies you tell i know lies you tell i'm like i think people think there's more in it than there actually is yes. yeah no. and my thing is like a lot of people are like are you gonna quit teaching and i'm like some no. people some people their goal they don't want to teach after they get social media famous bro i want to be like the top of the top in like ela in yeah. some like i want to learn not grammar don't quote me on the grammar because I got bad grammar. I'm talking about liter- I'm talking about literature and analyzing text, people. Okay, I'm not talking about grammar. Get that? <laughs> Let's get one thing clear. Okay, but as far as like teaching central idea theme, how to you know analyze text, yeah, you know uh, word decoding and things like that, I want to eventually like write a book to help teachers with that kind of stuff. I want to create like lessons where if a first year teacher doesn't know how to teach, um, you know, plot or point of view where I can create a lesson to help them. Like I want to do that kind of stuff. Even if I'm like out of the class, that's like my end goal. I don't want to work at County office. Hell no. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be an admin. I want to be somebody that comes alongside and supports teachers because I love to read. I love teaching. I love education. And you know, some people when they hear like, I don't want to quit teaching. They're like, so you mean to tell me if you were making like $15,000 a month, you would still teach? Yeah, I would. Because that's yeah. who I am. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to sit at home and just make yeah. content. Like, I, I love my kids. Yeah. And some people are like, well, you'd probably run out of content. Never. Because mm-hmm. people from all over the country send me their yeah. stories. Yeah. But I just have no desire to quit teaching. I love it so much. Yeah, it's interesting because I had to quit this year. Right, yeah. And I found a job. Like, my whole goal was not to teach forever. My mm-hmm. whole goal was to change the world. Like, yeah. that has been my goal since I started teaching. Right. And so, but it's interesting how some people view that as like, oh, she became TikTok famous. She quit teaching. And I'm right. like, that doesn't pay. Right, like, right, right. But I right. also feel they like. They don't understand that it doesn't pay. Like, no. they think that we make like millions of dollars no. or something. Because I make have- about $1.50 a day on my TikTok views. You for real? Yeah. Oh, I make like ten dollars a day. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I make thirty. That's a good day. <laughs> That's a really but you good know day. what? You don't create content every day, though, do you? I, no, I can't. I I would never do social media full time because of my mental like. Yeah. I enjoy the fact that I can do it for fun and not worry about it. Right. I love that. Right. I feel like kind of going back to what Kenzie said about wanting to change the world, and I feel mm. like that's every teacher's or most teachers goal but at Mm -hmm. some point I feel like a lot of individuals come to the conclusion that with all of the parents the admin the stipulations Mm -hmm. the requirements they can't change the world as much as they want to in the classroom and I think that's what drives a lot of teachers out but I think that college sometimes gives an unrealistic expectation of what you're going to be able to do yes I also think that teachers are special individuals and that they want to keep growing and keep learning and sometimes if you teach the same grade long enough you're like I want to do something new and there's nothing wrong with that right 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 so lesson of the day do what you want and do what makes you happy that's what I'm talking about live your truth yes hey I I second and third that motion (laughs) 
And with that being said, we're so excited that you guys have hung out with us for the third episode of the Teacher's Lounge, probably on like our 16th or 17th episode. I'm going to have to stop telling you the episode number because I'll probably forget. But (laughs) this is the third episode. We're so excited that you guys have hung out with us. Uh, We'll be back next week for another episode. I am Honest Teacher Vibes. Bye, my lovelies. I'm Miss Rogers. Miss Southern. Bye. Bye.